Now we will solve one or two questions which are given in your book. Fine. Uh, the question is what is the worst case complexity of the following code fragment? They have given you a code and they asked you to calculate what is the worst case complexity. Do not get confused again by the word of worst case complexity. They did not ask you the definition of worst case complexity. They said calculate normally the way you calculate the com complexity, calculate and that will automatically be the worst case complexity. Fine. What they are given, the code is given by this for i in range and under this they are given a equal to i plus i plus 1. Okay, it doesn't matter whatever is given. Okay, it, it doesn't have to always make any sense. Print a and then they have given another statement. Uh, J in range M. Okay. And they have given B equal to I into I plus 1. Okay. Print B. So I told you in order to solve this kind of questions, quickly write it down, quickly copy the quotes, which should not take a long time for you. And then side by side in my last night the notes that I have given you, you must have seen how to do it. So we can write that this loop executes n times. I am writing here in short, you write this loop execute n times. This one say takes t1 time to, it takes as they say this one, this line takes t1 constant amount of time. This line takes t2 constant amount of time. This loop again executes n times. Okay. This one say takes t3 constant time. This one takes t4 amount of constant time. So what we get? We get the total time. Okay. The total time will be equal to. We can write. You know how to do this? T1 plus t2 multiplied by n and t3 and T4 multiplied by n. Fine. So as a whole we can write capital T T1 equal to T1 into n. Okay. And we can write T2 into n. So this means approximately we can say the in B in terms of big O notation we can write a big O and we can write that it's dependent on n and m. Okay. On dependent on n and m. Well, n and m are the inputs. That also might be given in the question, might not be given in the question, but it is understood that since you use these two as loop size, these two are provided by the uh, as input to the function or to the code. Right. So here look at this. The efficiency or the worst case complexity will be O n plus m. Fine. I am trying to solve another question. Right? Say so this one is given in this way. Uh, what is the worst case complexity of the following code frame? Again, the same kind of question. A little different, little variation in this. What they said? They said in a very short manner for x in range A and the statements they did not write which of the statements they just wrote statements in the question. Second one they are writing for Y in range B and here they have taken a mistake for Z in range C and again they said statements. Fine. So we will copy the question and we have to find the worst case complexity. So again we will do the same thing in these statements. We will say these group of statements take a constant C0 time to execute and these group of statements take a C1 constant time to execute. We can say this loop is executing A times, this is executing B times and this one is executing C times. So the total time will be how much? It will be C0 into A and here 
here what is happening since it is the less than 2, what will happen? It should definitely be C1 multiplied by B into C. Right? It will be definitely be C1 multiplied by B into C. So as a whole, roughly we can say this will be dependent on these two inputs. That is A plus B C. That will be the worst case complexity in this scenario. Fine. So I think all they all they can ask you is this kind of small little codes and but the format it is very easy that when you see the question it is very simple to write the final answer but you have to write in a proper format you have to show all this individual time and why it is like this that you have to show you to basically you cannot jump any steps in between okay because that is how they have solved in the book uh, I think it's not but it's not fair to jump any steps in between okay so these kind of questions are basically given another question I can see here where basically uh, you can be able to figure it out very easily if I write. Okay. Uh, what they have done is they have again they have asked the same question what is the worst case complexity of the following code fragment? Okay. And they have given for I in range for I in range N. Okay. Or J in range again they said n right they have given given they did not write any code in particular here they wrote sequence of statements that is how they have written sequence of statements and then immediately after that what they have done they have taken another uh, loop like this for k in range for k in range n and again same thing sequence of statements I'm writing it short sequence of statements and they said what would that be equal to fine so this one also we can make out what is going to happen we can write this execute n times this also execute n times we'll write beside this first copy it down then write beside it will execute n times this will this loop also will execute n times this sequence of sequence, let's say C0 time to execute, and this sequence of all statements say takes C1 time to execute. For K in range N, that means again this two works N times. So what we get? The total time first we will write C0 multiplied by N multiplied by N. Plus, what will happen? C1 will be multiplied by because here one, one, this sequence of statement takes C, C1, so n times means n into C1. I hope you understood this one. Okay. In nested loop, what happens? The whole loop goes this multiplied by this. As many times after loop works, multiplied by as many times the inner loop works. So that multiplied by the unit time, which takes basically for every iteration. So now in, here we can write in terms of the notation, it is n square. Plus n. Now, dominant term we learnt yesterday. So, if for a very large input of n, what will happen? This will become a negligible quantity. So, we can say this is an absolutely equal to O n square. Right? So, this is how the questions will come. I will try to find some more interesting questions because these questions are all towards the easier side. If I find some difficult problems, I will just bring it to you. For now, I don't think anything is left in this chapter. Uh, all the small things we have done. I will find out if there is anything left out tomorrow. We will discuss that.